Welcome back to Whispering Roots TV. This is Anna with Whispering Roots, and we are gonna make some chimichurri today. It's one of my favorite sauces, has a ton of flavor, and a great way to use up fresh herbs. So today we're gonna use some parsley and cilantro, about a bunch of each, or about a cup. We're also gonna do some fresh oregano here. We have some diced red onion, some lemon, fresh lemon juice, some fresh garlic. We're gonna use a jalapeno, or you can use a serrano. You don't have to use either if you don't want it spicy, but it adds a good kick. We're also gonna do a little bit of red pepper flakes, salt and pepper, and then some olive oil and some red wine vinegar. Before we throw it all in the blender, we're gonna give it just a rough chop just to help out the blender a little bit, but you definitely don't have to do that if you don't want to. So let's get chopping. So I'm gonna add my cilantro and my parsley. It was about a bunch of each, or about a cup. We got our oregano, which we only need a little bit of that. We're gonna do about three tablespoons. We are gonna add our onion. We had a half cup, or about half of an onion. We got our uh, jalapeno, just one of those sliced up. We got three cloves of garlic, or we're using four because a couple of them are kind of small, but about three large cloves of garlic. We have two tablespoons of fresh lemon juice. We strained the seeds out before pouring it in. We also have red wine vinegar. We're gonna do two tablespoons of that. We have a little bit of salt, about a quarter teaspoon to taste, quarter teaspoon of black pepper, and a quarter teaspoon of crushed red pepper flakes more or less if you like it spicy or not so much. And then we got our half of a cup of olive oil. We're gonna put the lid on and we're just gonna blend it till it's smooth. All right, and that is it. So we have our sauce here. I like mine a little bit chunkier, but you can puree it to whatever consistency you like. This is perfect to put on grilled meat. So in summertime, this is awesome on your grilled chicken, grilled steak, anything like that. Works great as a marinade or just a sauce on top. And this freezes really well as well. You can put it in the freezer and pull it out when you um, need a good marinade. So hope you try this recipe. Don't forget to like and subscribe our, to our channel. And the recipe is below in the comments. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.